All right, guys. Thank you for joining me here at Lone Wolf Mountain. As you can hear, it is storming away. Lots of thunder. I am having a break in the weather here. Tons of strong storms coming through. I have only a second to set up this tent as fast as I possibly can. Now, the tent tonight is the Big Agnes Slater Ultra Light 2 Plus Tent. I will talk more about this in just a minute. This is the nighttime setup test. And I have to go very, very fast. Ground sheet to start with. I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see while setting this up. But I will do my best to angle the camera so you guys can see me do this. But it may be difficult because the camera's in the car at a funky angle and that's because it is somewhat raining right now. The body is done. Moving now to the fly. All right, the rain is picking up now, but the tent is covered. Moving to the stakes now. The tent is secure, 100% dry on the inside. I was able to set it up in between storms. Almost done completely. Two stakes left. The rain's coming down, the storm is kicking in. Okay, so it's set up. As you can see there, it is raining again. Woo, all right. Inside of the tent now, as you guys can hear, it's raining pretty good. That was pretty darn quick. I'm really, really impressed with this tent. Super duper fast setup. I mean, right in between storms, I was able to set this up. I apologize if you guys weren't able to see much. I was in a hurry. I had to get that done. Okay, so the ease of setup in the dark, I mean, 10 out of 10, do it again. It was just super simple. I mean, it really could not be any easier than that. As it stands right now, everything's dry on the inside. It really is. The outer wall of this first layer is a little bit damp, you know, from the drizzle, but not bad by any means. Okay, I'm going to take a second here. I'm going to inflate my sleeping pad, get my bed and all that stuff ready for tonight. Oh yeah. Whew. Yes. So, light test time. As you guys can see, the tent roughly 100 feet away. Definitely noticeable thanks to that yellow material, the yellow fly. Because of that yellow fly, it's also highly visible with a headlamp with no lights inside of it as well. Now folks, one issue that I wanna talk about here is with the zipper. I have had countless issues with it getting tangled up with the protective flap which goes over the zipper on the outside. I would say every single time that I try to close that zipper, now that it's wet, it gets stuck and tangled up in that material and it's a real chore to bend over to try to get that undone. That's happened four times in a row. So, yeah, that's definitely a negative. Now, folks, as you can hear, it is absolutely pouring. It's storming big time. So, I'm going to basically just go to sleep. I'm going to kick back and relax. It's too loud to really film and talk much, so we will talk in the morning. I will definitely bring you all back if anything crazy happens, but yeah, all of this rain, the lightning, it's making me sleepy. So I will bring you guys back in the morning. We'll talk about the tent and how well it performed. Good night. Good morning, everybody. Oh, man. As you can see, I survived the night. And what a night that it was. It stormed and rained. I mean, 
just all night long it just kept going i don't know when it actually stopped raining it was late into the night uh, the storms were incredible the lightning was awesome uh, there was times where it was raining so hard that I wish I had earplugs because, I mean, it was just beating this tent to death. But this tent did not leak. This tent did not let me down. I'm super impressed with how well this tent performed. So, guys, it is now 7 o'clock in the morning. Let's go over some observations which I've made with this tent. Excellent moisture control. Excellent ventilation. Everything here is 100% dry. I'm dry, the inside of the tent here is dry. I really expected it to be really humid in here, really sticky. Um, I left the front door, the front door open for a long time until basically I dried off and it cooled down. And this morning I was starting to get cold so I zipped it up and I mean it's absolutely comfortable in here right now. It's really comfortable, it's warm, feels good. As far as comfort goes, very comfortable inside of this tent. As you can see, I can sit up here. And I'm actually towards the back of the tent now. It's it's bigger up at the front. It's more condensed and smaller down at the back. But very, very comfortable. This is a palace for one person, that's for sure. Setup was super simple, as you guys hopefully saw last night. I'm not sure what you guys actually saw while I was setting it up. But very, very simple. I was able to do that in just no time at all. It was a light rain that was coming down while I was setting it up. And the inner here, it got a little damp, but it's not an issue. It dried out throughout the night. And the inside of the tent stayed 100% dry. That's really, really important. If this was a mesh body like most three season tents, the inside would have been wet. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. As I mentioned, I did get a little bit cold. I shut the door and the temperatures have gone up. You know, once the sun gets high enough and actually hits this tent, it will become very warm in here because of this double wall. One thing that I noticed was when the winds were really kicking up, I couldn't really feel those winds hitting me like I would in a typical three season tent. I could feel like fresh air coming in, but I didn't feel that blast of air hitting me. Very good wind control. Also, this tent is rock solid. It did not move. When it comes to the amount of rain that we received last night, it was substantial. Inches. I'm not sure how many, but it was inches worth. And this tent did not let me down. It leaked none at all. Overall, this is a terrific performer. I mean, it really is. Oh, yeah. Time for me to get out of here. I have some coffee in the car. I need to get back to work, back to my family. So, also, speaking of which, Susie, thank you very much for letting me run off all the time to do this gear testing. All right, folks, thank you for joining me for this episode. Of course, I did have my vehicle here last night just in case this tent failed, and I'm glad to say that it did not. All in all, I'm very impressed with this tent very impressed it did very very well it handled the storm without any issues i wasn't sure if we were even going to be able to set up in it because it was just raining so hard last night but it stopped literally for about four minutes i was able to hop out of the car set up get in bam it worked out very very well before i go what tent would you guys like to see me test out next i will put a poll on my website you can head over there and vote on the tent that you want to see face some rain, face a storm for a night test. Until next time, everybody, take care, strength and honor. See you guys.